back in this video we are going to compare gp6 gp6 thank you so this is the cell our friend cell uh, he brought his own gp6 from uh, easy presser and then i'm going to compare that with the timer though so this is a timer or uh, x light so is their flagship so this is their answer to uh, more like k plus so this one is uh, you uh, you can do espresso all the way up to French press. Okay, very uh, diverse. Uh, but GP6, unfortunately, that is filter only uh, hand grinder. Okay, that's okay. All right. So we are doing the filter coffee. So today's coffee. So this one is come from the fellow uh, coffee subscription there, the Ecuador coffee, El Salvador. Okay, uh, Los. Pilininos. Okay, I, I'm hoping I'm saying it right. The great tasting notes. Lightsy, pomegranate, and Lowe's hips. Okay, wow. Sounds very light, bright, fruity. This is going to be fantastic. Okay, so here's the twist. All right. So it's, it's kind of like the, the battle of the brew, kind of like mini uh, brewer's cup here. So Sarah is going to brew. His own recipe. So we are going to use a 13 gram in. We are going to add 210 grams of water. That's it. Okay. So uh, 13 in to 10. So that is the requirement. And then anything goes. Sar is choose. Sar is going to brew me a. Uh, we're going to brew coffee and then we are going to do blind taste. I'm going to have uh, Sal do the blind tasting as well. He's going to use the Oreo with the flat bottom paper. <clears throat> and the GP6 as grinder. And uh, we are using the perfect water, okay? So not only we have a different grinder, different water and different brewing system, all right? <clears throat> so my corner, I'm using the uh, Kono. Okay, I'm using a Kono dripper with a uh, cone-shaped uh, paper as well. Uh, so this is a Cafetec, a Cafec paper, and the Sarah is using the Hario, the flat bottom paper, okay? So there's a lot going on here. And obviously, we are using K, uh, x light as grinder with a concentration water. And so this is a 60 and 25, okay? 60 and 25, the PPM water. So this is supposedly bring out all the sweetness and the brightness as well. So it's a lot going on. Not only we are comparing a lot of variables, let's put it that way. Grinder, water, brain system, okay, the uh, brewer. So, and the uh, Sar is going to use uh, some recipe that, you know, I have no idea what he's going to use. And then I'm going to be using my recipe I learned from, uh, I was watching one of the Korean YouTuber. And uh, I mean, he, uh, he come up with this wonderful recipe, kind of like similar to Singapore and Blooming. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, I'm going to show you my method. So it should be a lot of fun. Okay, it's be a lot of fun, a lot going on in this video. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming, folks. Goodness, it took me, what, three minutes to do the introduction here. I think most people watch about, what, first 10 seconds anyway, but if I lost you, that's unfortunate. But if you're still here, I'm glad you guys are watching. All right, just make sure thumbs up on this video, okay? Again, so it's going to be uh, Sal versus myself. Only thing. Only thing is the same is the, just the coffee. That's it. 13 grams in, we're going to add 210 grams of water. That's the only constant. And then everything else is all different. So, Sal, if you are ready, let's brew. Okay. Here we go. Let me... Here we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Again, I'm using the 13 gram, using X lights. Do you use a RDT on your cup? Sure. I'm, I'm just gonna quick, just a little, just a little bit, okay? You don't need much here. There we go. No, two hands like that. Cover. Okay. Make sure we got 13 gram going in. 
13 point3 yeah these beans are huge by the way okay these beans are a monster 13 gram there we go So I'm going to time it, okay? I'm going to time me and Sal, how long it's going to grind 13 grams each. I think that's the first comparison there. I got my timer going. Are you ready? Set, go. By the way, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Now let's shout out to Scott. Scott's getting the GP6 Wednesday. Fantastic, Scott. I'm still going. How's it going, Sal? Okay, Sal is done. 30 seconds. I'm still going. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm at 42. 40, 50, but I have no idea what grind size Sal is using, okay, so, but that's the, you know, again, we may have a completely different grind size. The point is, uh, we're going to find that, okay, about minute, okay, minute and 10, good, yeah, still going. Man, timer comes to speed wise uh, compared to Easy Presser, no, especially GP6. That blew me away, okay, blew me away. All right, so that's one test done. All right, Sal, ready? Yeah. And then now we are going to brew. So it's going to be battle of, I'm just going to get the right angle there for you guys. I'm just going to wash my paper. I'm using the corner dripper and the other side is the, uh, Aurea version 3. Oh, that is a coarser. Okay. Should be a lot of fun there. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah, my grind size is a lot finer than. Aurea. So Sar is going to brew his own way. Okay. There we go. Okay, go ahead, Sal. And then my brewing method is extremely simple. I'm just gonna start with 35 grams of water, about 40 there. I'm going to mix it. Okay, I'm going to mix it well. Okay, I'm just going to mix it well. I'm going to wait about 35 seconds. Okay, I'm going to wait 35 seconds to bloom. I'm, I'm going to go all up to 210 gram. Oh, 
210, there we go. And I'm going to do a slight hesitation here. That's it. Ever so gentle. And so, uh, which boring method are you using right now? Yeah, so I'm using, uh, I forget what the video was called, but it was Lance Hedrick's sort of uh, basic brew guide. Uh, one of the more recent ones he's done. Uh, and he does a two minute bloom. And he just does one pour up with some agitation or with the WDT tool. So, start using the lenses recipe. And I'm using, I don't know what I'm using, but various uh, uh, technique from different people. I'm going to a big shout out to a person in Korea there. So my brew time should be around 2.20, 2.30 or so. Okay. 2.20 there. As you can see, the beautiful cone shape. So my coffee is done. Okay. And this sir uh, is doing the WDT right now. Uh, what are you expecting for the brew time, sir? Um, generally just between three and four minutes. Okay. Got three and four for the sir. Got gentle swerve. Again, if you're just joining us, welcome to live streaming, folks. Uh, we are doing a lot of comparison, okay? Not only we are comparing the Easy Press uh, GP6 and Timer X Lite, and also we are kind of like a bonus comparison with uh, Aurea versus Kona, okay? But the and, and water, we got the perfect water versus this is uh, the custom-made water as well. So there's a lot going on, folks. There's a lot going on. What's the time there? 3.30. Uh, 3.30, okay. <clears throat> All right. The only thing, the only thing, the constant is the coffee. That's it. The coffee and dosing amounts. And everything else is all... Elaine said too many variables. Yes, answer is yes. This is a lot of variables going on, okay? I mean, that's why this is very interesting. It's, it's, that's why it's making coffee so much fun, you know? Okay, people say if you want to uh, change something, go one at a time, okay? Answer is correct, okay? Yeah, you want to go one at a time whenever you do the variables. So we have coffee here. Again, if you're just joining us, this coffee is Aurea, so uh, with the GP6, Aurea, and Perfect Water, okay? My coffee is a uh, Timer x Lite, the hand grinder, with my custom water recipe, and what else? Uh, and Kono Dripper, okay? So Kono, you've got three things going on at once. So, well, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send Sal to the lobby. We are going to do some blind tasting. Okay, so ready? So Sat is out. Okay. I hope. Okay, Sal. Come on in. All right, and then so let's uh, let's hear what Sal's impression is. I'm gonna smell it first. Okay. Okay. If you are just joining us, we are doing the blind tasting right now. 
Okay, this two coffee. Coffee from Ecuador. El Salvador, actually. Lychee, pomegranate, and rose hip. Rose hips. I'm just going to try a little bit. Cheers, everybody. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> Let's go back. Okay, here I go. One more time. Oh. Okay, I think I have my. So, what do you think? What What is the impression? Okay, I'm, I'm sure I'm trying to have so. Go ahead. Hmm. Okay, first of all, just pick one. Which one you prefer for your taste? Again. Again, tastes are subjective, folks. Okay, and that if if it's so, like one thing is. Better no. We are talking about something different. So I'm asking Sal which one he likes the best. Which it's hard to say. I like both. They're both very good, but I think I like this one. That one. A little better, yeah. A little better. Okay, tell me why it's a little better. Um. I feel like it's a little more, like juicy. Juicy. Okay. Juicy. I feel like it might have a little bit more of a body. Okay. Juicy and more body. Okay, hold on. Let me go on this one here. Yeah, this one to me is a little more lighter. Yeah, yeah I can see that. This one I feel is like a bit thicker in your mouth. More mouth. So you prefer that one? Yeah. Okay. I think this one has a little bit more flavor, okay. more intensity of okay. flavor, maybe. Okay. So, what are you guessing for grinder? Um, I definitely could be wrong here. Go ahead. But I'm gonna guess that this is the the ZP6. ZP6 for that, okay. And the down one is X like. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so. I mean, th again, this is great thing about uh, like blind taste. I mean, you know, you guys you know, see me over the years. I do a lot of blind tasting in front of you, but it's not the same as someone actually. We have a live audience. And, and the, okay, so here's the a, here's a result. Obviously, you guys know the answers already. Uh, that coffee is X-Lite. X-Lite. And there's a, Sarah preferred the coffee from, okay. It's all like going on like I say, okay. Not only we got, uh, so he picked the, X light with Orea brewer, not the Orea, the Kono dripper. Okay, so you got the Orea. No, I'm sorry. Let's go back. X light Kono and my custom made water recipe. Okay. What what does that mean? Means nothing. Okay, which means uh, for this coffee, it just happened to be. So. Hold on. So the best way to fix this. Okay, we are going to use the different grind, uh, same, uh, different grinder. So X Lite versus uh, Orea, not the Orea, uh, Easy Presso, and the, everything needs the same. Okay, same water, same brewer. Okay, so in that case we know which one is. We can give. Uh, I can give you somewhat. Okay, somewhat close. Let's see here, it's about 235 right now. Okay, so we're gonna do one more test. Okay, let's do one more. So this time we're gonna use the, I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna be using the identical with the grinder. No, everything but the grinder, okay? So let's compare with uh, grinder and then our water should be the same water and same brewing system as well. So uh, having said that, uh, let's use the I have a two ident identical brewer here. I have a Kono dripper, identical. So I'm gonna be using the Kono versus, yeah. So so let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. But your grind size is a little yeah, coarse. A little coarse. Why don't you change the little finer there? Okay. I'm gonna have a, a cell. Change the 
the uh, grind size. So this one should be kind of like, yeah. So, so this one should be the one, okay? What are you looking uh, for, two and a half? Uh, let's minutes? see, about, maybe like two minutes and 10 seconds. Yeah, two, yeah, two and a half. So I'm trying to shoot for like, you know, two and two and a half minutes, okay? So that's the perfect water over there, right? Yeah, do we have enough? Yeah, I do. So again, we are using the perfect water for that one. I don't think we do. No. Yeah, yeah we got some more. So we are using the perfect water. Good. So you got plenty of water. So you, again, we are using the perfect water and corner dripper. Okay. All right. So this one should be, so this is it. This is the one we should definitely look out for, okay? So last, go, go ahead and dose out your coffee. So, so last two, so first one was like kind of like a wire comparison, okay? So I think because, you know, because I wanna see, okay? I wanna see what's the, so we know the first round X light one, okay? So second round is the one, okay? So this is the one we actually compare grinder to grinder. Okay, if you are just joining us, welcome to live streaming, okay? And uh, Sar is uh, changing his grind size right now. Again, we are using the paper uh, for the cafe paper. All right, go ahead and start. But again, uh, comes to grind speed, man, there's no comparison. Okay, the uh, Easy Presso is by far much faster. What? Yeah, go ahead. So, uh, how many settings did you change? Um, I went about a good, like, four or five. Okay. Water. Okay. Wow. Okay. These steps are, are pretty small <coughs> on the ZP6. In my so, opinion. hopefully, we're going to get a somewhat close time. Okay, the time is important as well. So, yeah. Uh, comes to espresso comparison, we cannot do espresso because GP6 is not uh, designed for that, okay? You cannot go find enough on GP6. So GP6 is made for filter coffee only. And it usually takes about 30 seconds for easy presso. For x light. you are looking at minutes. It's going to be a very uh, simple recipe, 35 grams in, I'm going to bloom for like 35 seconds there, and then we're going to go all the way up to 210, okay. That's it. So we're going to have some, you know, somewhat consistency when it comes to brewing. And then we're going to go back out, I'm going to send them back out again to another uh, blind taste. Okay, here we go. Man, I'm still going. Sorry, you're done. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is one thing I don't like about X Lite. So, X Lite is again, that's the, this is Timor brand, okay? Timor versus Easy Presser. I'm still going. Still. Fine. Oh, no, not yet. Nope. <gasps> Man, come on. Yeah. Nope. Because you are usually not. There we go. How long? Long time, wasn't it? Goodness. It has like over a minute. Okay. All right, so let's. Uh, is the water ready? Yeah, just about, yeah. Okay. 
I'm going to have start brewing I'm gonna I'm gonna have a sour go first there <laughs> yeah I just wash the paper using the Kono dripper at the moment. <clears throat> right, here we go. <clears throat> okay, let's see here, we got Kono. I'm going in. Uh, grind size up very similar. Yeah, <clears throat> very similar there. And I like to just make a little hole, just like so. So 35 gram, <clears throat> 35 gram, and 35 second volume. Yeah. And after that, you're gonna go a little gentle yeah. with your spin. Okay, go ahead. And I'm gonna go have a sour go first. <clears throat> Start the time. Okay, there we go. Actually, you go, yeah, you go finish it. Okay. He's gonna wait about 35 seconds there, and then go up to 210. Uh, so this is some of fresh copy, so. about 35 seconds. <clears throat> Good chanto. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go 35. <clears throat> From the center, I'm just gonna go gently go out. Two ten. And after that, I like to just do, do quick, clean the side. That's it. Very simple recipe. You got two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. 20. Okay, 220. <clears throat> we are shooting for between two and three, so hopefully, <clears throat> shooting for <clears throat> two and three minutes there. Right now, I'm at one minute and 30 seconds. 
So this is the one I'm very curious about. So this is a truly the Easy Presso represent this coffee right here. Easy Presso GP6. And then we have a timer, uh, x light. <clears throat> Got three minutes mark there. We got about I, I'm guessing about this coffee should be around 3:30. Okay, that's fine. I'm at two right now, so yeah, should be a very interesting uh, test. At 3:30. Three thirty for the SARS coffee. I'm still going right now. Okay, about four minutes for SARS coffee. Mine's still going. I'm at three minutes right now. Yep, why don't you call it at 4.05, okay, 4.05 the SARS coffee. Man, mine is about, it's about a minute difference in time, goodness, I mean, uh, 3 minutes, 20, 3.30, hey, it's all right, definitely you can go a little finer. No, of course, sir. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Sal, go outside for a second. I'm going to send Sal outside here. <clears throat> Actually, hold on a second here. All right, Sal, come on in. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna have Sal do the blind tasting. Okay. Again, if you're just joining us, welcome to live streaming. It's about 33 of you watching, guys. That's great. Make sure to thumbs up on this video, okay? Make sure to thumbs up. Oh, ready, Sal? Go ahead. So we are doing everything but the everything but the grinder. Same water, okay? And the the grind the the brewing time is different though. So that's the one. If I can fix it, you know, that's the one thing I like to fix, but. Okay, this is interesting. Wow, very interesting. So let's, cheers guys. Huh. Man. Hold on. So again, if you're just joining us, welcome. Welcome to live streaming. Okay, Sarah, have you decide which coffee you prefer? Go ahead. I'm gonna have this. So again, this is our subjective test, guys. Okay, we are just based on uh, Sarah's uh, taste bud and. Uh, the, the reason I do, tr uh, I do value his uh, uh, opinion because he is actual barista in local cafe. So, you know, he, he gets to experience a lot of coffee over the years. So, okay, and then here it comes. I'm going to say my favorite is probably this one. That one right there. Yeah. Okay, why? 
Um, this one feels a little bitter. Bitter, okay. Uh, it's hard to say. They're not like super, super different. They're definitely different, but mm -hmm. you know, yeah. they're pretty similar. I think this one's maybe a little bit like more bright. More bright, interesting. A little more, bit. Okay, more bright, okay. But yeah, this one seemed a little bit, just a little bit more bitter. More bitter? Oh, wow. Interesting. So, so you, you picked that one, right? So this time around, Sarah picked out the GP6, okay? GP6 was about a minute longer than the uh, X Light Brew as well. So about four, about four minutes versus... But, uh, intro, I wonder... It's like four minutes to like 320. Yeah, and there's a minus one, about four, uh, like 330, 320 or so. Mm -hmm. but, but GP6, but more sweeter, you say? Uh, more like bright. More bright, okay. So this is GP6 right here. Okay, let me, let me see. Okay, very tea-like, okay. It's very tea-like. It's, um, yeah, the, it's a little brighter. As yeah. it cools, it's a little easier to taste. Uh, but as it cools, I think the GP6 is a little more complex. And then, so this is X-Lite here. A little harshness. Yeah. If okay. anything, I was uh, it, I was going back and forth in which one I thought was the ZP6. I thought this one, the x Light could have been just because of the longer brew time. Yeah. So I was expecting, you know, maybe I would have picked the x Light just because the brew time was a little longer. No, I you, still liked you mean GP6 was longer? Yeah. Yeah. The ZP6 was longer. Yeah. So I thought I might pick the That's x Light right. because of that, huh. but I still picked the, the ZP6, I guess. If, I wonder, if GP6, we are going to dial in. The only thing difference, uh, because earlier, Sarah picked out the... Actually, you know what, hold on. The only thing difference is this cup is water. This water right here. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, if I'm going to brew with this cup, I got some water left. If I'm going to brew with this, my custom water with GP6, it's gonna be give us really interesting flavor. What do you think? So we're gonna do, uh, you know, let's do one more round, okay? So I think, I think we might have some good combination. So can you measure out 13 grams for me? Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a <clears throat> corner dripper, 13 gram dose. Uh, let's use the, my custom uh, water and see what kind of result we're gonna get, okay? And then because the only thing difference between last round was the my water and Aurea. Sarah was using Aurea dripper. But again, Aurea and the Kona, the, it's not a whole lot of difference there. They're both really fast brewer. So yeah, I think uh, let's try that, okay? Let's try that there. And I wanna go a little faster too. Uh, no, actually, no, you know what? Uh, let's go coarser on your grinder, yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course we're on. And we are going to use a GP6. So you are at four minutes and that grind size, right? Yeah. So how many notch did you go down? I went down from the other brew, uh -huh. probably about four or five. Four or five, so maybe go up, go coarser, maybe two or three. Yeah. How about three up? Three. I'm gonna have a Sarah go up three notch up. Hopefully we have enough water here. Hopefully we have enough water, goodness. I mean, so, so this is the water we lack, you know. So we start with the 750 grams of water, the custom water. So before we're gonna finish it, hold on a second. I'm just gonna measure out my total water. Good, we have enough water, guys. Excellent. We have enough water. Are you done? Yeah. Oh, gonna. Yeah, sorry, it's already done with the grind that oh, coffee. No, grind oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, change it. Yeah. Three clicks course. Yeah, three clicks course. So we are going, so this is kind of like, so this is how you dial in your, uh, your pour over. So start with, you know, one grind size, 
um, if you if you can make your own water, do so. Okay, I mean, I think you're gonna have interesting brewing experience for sure. Again, I'm just gonna fold it. Uh, with the cone paper, I mean, I've been like cutting this corner, okay, like so. I feel like the water is come down nicely from the top. I timed it again for about 25 seconds. Yeah, so it's very quick for timer, the, no, not timer, the easy presser. gonna give a quick rinse I don't want to waste too much water there just make sure everything is all nicely tucked in okay. all right so this is a very simple uh, the brewing method Gram. Just go make a little hole. I'm going to start with the 35 grams of water. Just give it a quick stir. Just make sure it's blooming nicely. I'm going to wait about 35 seconds there. And then I'm going to go start from the center. Go up to 210. Go fast. That's it, very simple. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir from the top. I'm trying to shoot for around like, the ideal time for me is around two minutes, okay, for my brew time, for me. Looking good so far there, I got a minute and 40. That's pretty good. Minute and 50. I mean, I do enjoy the fast brewer, for sure. Okay. So let's try this cup. So this is kind of like so far <clears throat> kind of a winning combination. Let's put it that way. Yeah, it's kind of like the winning combination there. So it's about 44 minutes of making. Okay. So let's try this cup. Smells pretty good. Same as the last one, but we'll see. Oh. Hold on. Is it more interesting going on here? What are you, what are you tasting? Mm. I think the, the finish on this one is much sweeter. Yeah, it's a lot sweeter. Is it more vibrant? Let's put it that way, more vibrant. 
yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I, I, think, I think we have a good combination here. I mean, I like this water recipe. But again, it comes to water recipe, uh, Mohammed, how to make perfect water. You know what? There's no such thing as perfect water. But I did make a video about that. Uh, uh, Mohammed, go back to my last video I just did earlier today. Try that, okay? Try that one. I mean, very easy. Very easy to use uh, to make your own coffee recipe. So yeah, make sure you do it. The only thing you need is to make some concentration. Yeah, follow the... Uh, go back, uh, go look at that video, okay? The Elaine asked me when's the next cooking video. Uh, hopefully soon, okay? Hopefully next couple of days. Again, okay, so this this combination, we've got the uh, GP6 with... We use the perfect water, okay? No, we use... No, wait, wait. Your no. recipe. Right? Uh, yeah, I, I use my recipe. My recipe was... Hold on a second. It was like... Uh, 60, 60... So 60 general hardness and 25 ppm for the uh, calcium. Okay, so you know what? I look at that video. I think that video explains your life. Because it comes to water chemistry, that's something you have to kind of like experiment with it. Okay, there's no good recipe. You know, there's one recipe, you know, you might want to use, but yeah, it's all different. But so this particular recipe was, I mean, worked out for us. So, anyway, yeah, I think this coffee is pretty good. But I really like to bring out even more the freightiness. You know what I mean? Even more brighter, more vibrant. So I mean, that's some only way to do that is you have to just play with the water chemistry. Obviously, you have to have a right grinder, but you need to have the good water chemistry to kind of like fine tune it. So, anyway, I hope uh, you guys like this. Yeah, it's been like almost 50 minutes now. So, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. And then I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, okay? And uh, again, um, if you have missed uh, the last video, check it out on you know, how to make uh, water, all right? See you next time.